we go to question seven but before you go to question seven you know we always got little salt so Cody Cody she's from Silver Sand Blue Down in the place in Cape Town see Cody she say you know what Hamish she sent me a solution last night she said you know I'm good at the times table and then she sent me uh, questions and how she did she's pushing hard she's a little girl she's great seven man I'm telling she pushed very very hard see so Cody and Liyama Liyama also she's uh she's great she's 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 six years old she's great six excuse me she say inside B man these two little girls man they praise me a lot man I forget also I have a lot of other students like Aisha 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 she started a uh, great travel so you know she's pushing so hard Aisha she like to laugh and you know but she push so hard and she motivates me she always challenge me so if you have a question you have a problem you let me know and if you want me to say your name on YouTube I can also say your name on YouTube like hey man but as far as for now Liyama Cody Cody she do so well She's pushing so hard. She told me face out, you don't want me to hate me. I guess I hate math. I say, no, you don't hate math. Then you wanna work together, but now she's doing excellent. And Ayesha. I used to have my son and the other one also. Her name is Fatima. She from Worcester Ford Athlon. She did very well last year, but this year she been lazy, man. You know, she been so lazy. And she been working but not like out of time. So Ayesha now is taking over. So I hope Fatima she can go back to her normal form she can't i don't know she's just being lazy and i'm angry at you if you're watching the video right now fatima i'm angry at you i just want to see you improve okay let's go if you have an equation you can always send me the equation let's go to question seven right excuse me question seven so the question seven say excuse me question seven probably so question seven. The question seven say uh, find the solution set of. So got that one. Okay. Let me show you how to break this. This is easy, man. But I have to show you how to break. So find the solution set of this equation here. So we're gonna have to write a question too. Okay. If you so wait or, or if you know somebody so wait to have a problem with math. Please let me know, man. I have a children like place like Soweto, Kailicha, or any form of Alexandria, Johannesburg, Soweto. Send me the question, man. Ask your dad and mom. Send me home. I can help you out. So we say 3, 2, x plus 1, bracket, minus 80. 3, x plus 1, equal to 9. So first of all, excuse me. This is exponential, but it's also quadratic. I'm going to explain to you why do I say it's quadratic. Okay. So, you see, 3, Excellent. So I'm gonna break this face. I'm gonna break that one. So I'm gonna say if I had to simplify this, this I'm say three to x plus two, and I have eighty times three x. Excuse me. And then three x, three x plus one equal to nine. So first of all, let me let me take you back a little bit just to remind you law of uh, exponential. The law of exponential. If you have a a for example, x plus y. You could take a with a fact if it's a x plus y, you could say a and x multiplied by a and y. That's a law of exponential. So for this case here, we're going to say if I had to simplify, I'm going to say 3, 2x multiplied by 3 and 2. Make sure you multiply here and then minus. We do the same thing for the second one 80 multiply this can be 3x times 3 power 1 and then equal to 9. This was a lot here. Excuse me. And then after that, so I know 3 squared equal to 9. So this is 3 squared equal to 9. So same as say 9. And then 3 to x minus. 3 times 8 is 24. So 24 times 3x equal to 9. Excuse me. This was a lot here. Let me separate so well so you can see. Excuse me. There's a gap here. So it's okay. So that's what we have. So then after that, so look. This is quadratic here, but I'll say uh, I'm going to explain to you why that quadratic. Why do I say it's quadratic? So I'm going to say this is nine. Look, so when you arrive here, when you reach here, right, try to make them look similar. This is three x and this three square x. Okay, what does quadratic look like? Quadratic always look like a x square plus b x plus c equal to zero. So face, let me rearrange everything. So look, this let me say nine. And then I'm going to say 3x and then what? Square. 
because in quadratic the face has to have a square so say 3x squared you got what I'm saying 3x they'll take these two out which is the same thing in this one but I have my 9 3x and then a y because quadratic standard form is x squared anything we square it is not necessarily must be x anything we square so what is our anything for this case our anything in this one 3x and then we say plus b what is our b our b is 24 24 and they have 3x can you see so it's like x and x but this x here square so this group here is square it's not necessarily must be x but uh, whatever you have here it must be in here that's how we say quadratic and then but for the first one it must be square is square and they say take this 9 back here so minus 9 equal to 0 can you show me another example I don't understand okay let me show you let me explain here for example another example so if somebody give me for example cos let's say 4 cos square x minus cos x sine x minus 3 equal to 0 this also is quadratic you know why you know something quadratic when you find something on the middle and something here it's not like you find same thing same thing but uh, another one must be square and then it's quadratic why because look quadratic sum from ax square plus bx plus c equal to zero so same here is going to be four you see the first one is cos what x what square plus cos again we see here cos so it's like b you see x and x square so for this case it's cos square you, you get what I'm saying so it's not necessarily must be x square as long as same thing same thing but uh, for the face group it must be square yes it's square and same thing we find here cos so say here is sine b cos b so it's cos x sine x minus 3 you get what I'm saying let me write big a little bit okay, let me make a space here so 4 cos x square so it has to be a what is a our a equal to 4 for this case what is a b? b for this case is sine. Why? Because look, same thing, same thing. Same thing, same thing, but here is square. See, same thing square, same thing without square. So for this case, same thing square, same thing without square. So what is our b? b equal to sine. So we say plus our b sine x. I'm trying to rearrange. So our x for this case is not x like if I had to compare, it has to be cos x. And then minus 3 so then if you had to solve this you can solve say x normal quadratic how we always say if you solve this one I will say x equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac equation of quadratic over 2a so for this case is not x for this case is what is cos x so I'm gonna say cos x equal to negative what is our b our b sine x plus or minus square root what is our b sine but a square minus 4 times a what is a 4 times c what is a c negative 3 over 2 times a what is a a 4 so that's a, another example so for this case here excuse me and as I say this is my like this one is like this one here but I have to rewrite because x is out and this is this which is the same thing same thing without square same thing with square so what is our a our a equal to 9 our b but I make sure you rearrange your stuff so I'm saying our b equal to 24 and our c equal to 9 c equal to 9 so then after that excuse me I'm gonna plug in in my uh, quadratic formula say x in normal quadratic formula we say x equal to negative b plus or minus and the square root of b square minus 4 AC over 2A but for this case it's not X is what 3x so we're gonna say 3 exponential X equal to negative what is our B our B equal 24 so our B equal 24 excuse me everybody can see there our B equal 24 so we put our 24 plus or minus square root B is 24 but a square minus 4 times A what is our A A equal to 9 times C what is our C C equal to a equal to 9, C equal to also, C equal to negative 9 over 2 times A, what is A? A equal to 9 so plug in the calculator, excuse me when you plug in the calculator we're gonna get sorry, sorry. 
we're gonna get 3x let's go and apply let's see 24 square apply the calculator to my calculator 24 square take my calculator unfortunately you cannot see clear there but I'll show you square root and then 24 24 square minus 4 times a away equal to 9 times negative 9 also. negative 9 see if you pull this stuff here, I hope everybody can see there. If you put in the calculator, you're going to get 30. I don't know if you can see that by 30. I'm trying my best to pull closer by 30. I hope somebody can see 30. So, all this stuff here give us 30 in a square. So, say negative 24 plus or minus 30 over 9 times 2 equal to 18. So, we say 3x equal to negative 24 plus 30 means negative 24 plus 30 over 18 and another 3 power x equal to negative 24 minus 30 negative 54 over 18 excuse me so this and this is going to give us uh, 24 plus 54 so we say for the first one 3x equal to 54 54 over 18 so it's a 3x I hope everybody can see there man just in case if you see I apologize I'm sorry so say now we say 3x equal to 54 is going to be 3 so the base are the same from the loft log when the base are the same the power must be the same so x equal to 1 means the base are the same power must be the same so x equal to 1 for the face x equal to 1 x equal to 1 so now we go for the second one I mean this one here this part here I polish this part here for the second one let me try to use out a pen quick so for the second one we divide by 3 here we get negative 3 so 3x equal to negative 3 but the base are not the same and this is negative this negative is positive so we can't compare say equal to 1 no so I'm saying from the law of exponential excuse me so we only have a one solution set which is x equal to one okay i'm going to explain you this in the next page because my page is finished here right excuse me so only set equal to one the solution is set equal to one solution x equal to one of that equation but let me explain to you quickly from the law of exponential from the law of exponential From the law of exponential, if you have a x, let me use other pen, excuse me, let's say a x, and then this side here is negative number, anything negative, this is negative 5 or negative 2, you can never get the value of x. So whatever is here, it has to be greater than 0. So I'm saying it has to be either 0 or greater than 0. 0 or greater than 0. So if somebody give me b x and then equal to k, means whichever is here, whichever is here, it has to be either greater or equal to zero and then you'll be able to solve for example if somebody give you three x or five x equal to zero it's gonna it's gonna work you know why because for this case here i'm gonna apply log throughout why you apply log i think i explained the previous question whenever you look for unknown power you see this is a known power power is unknown this power is unknown what should you apply log so it's a log five x equal to log of zero you take this x back so it's gonna be x log of 5 equal to log of 0 go to 0 plug in the calculator log of 0 no it's error my apologies it's error it's error it's error so for that case if it's error this has to be greater than is greater than 0 my apology not equal to 0 greater than 0 so any number here whichever number whenever you have exponential this number at the right must be greater than 0 we have tested here we see no it should not be equal to 0 because if you plug in the calculator you see here say error so when you plug in the calculator say error so any number which is on the right hand side let's say you have exponential must be greater than zero so i'm saying for example if somebody give me seven x equal to 1.3 yes you can get the value of x you know what you're going to do i've explained whenever you look for unknown exponential what you do apply log so say log seven x equal to log 1.3 then what you do bring x back so we say x log of seven equal to log of 1 point 1 point 3 so how are you gonna get the value of x there we don't we need x so we don't need this one and there's a modification in between so how are you gonna get x along 
divided by log 7 divided by log 7 this in this cancel so x equal to log 1.3 over log of 7 put in the calculator get the answer sometimes they say x equal to log 1.3 and they use this as the base as the base file you put in the calculator you're going to get the same value you put here is it base like let me show you so, something like this see just in case you can see uh, I'm gonna put the video for logs and you know you can check my channel if you have a request let me know so this was not part of the question about how to explain to you so for our question our previous question our X was only equal to 1 that's our solution set for the question okay so now we go for question for question 8 question 8 excuse me okay so that's a question 8 right there so let's say solve this one okay so question 8 should I do straight away? Uh, let me separate them so that uh, you can be able to. Yeah, let me separate them. So, you have an equation? Just leave the comments. You know, I uh, hope you learn a lot from me. You learn uh, from my mistakes. And you know what? Nah, man, there's no mistake, man. 100%, man. If you have an equation, just leave them, man. And I'll get back to you anytime. And this is how you get distinction. That's how I got to distinction.